Today we're finally painting the door jams on the Civic. Let's get started on this process. I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon, and I'll do it because it's what I wanna f***ing do. Cause all these opinions and all these Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So if you don't remember, I painted this car using the electric spray gun, and uh, it turned out pretty good. Has some orange peel. Nothing I can't wet sand out. But I will clear it with the HVLP with Pearl Clear Coat. Uh, so this will actually look really good when it's done. But uh, I have to do the door jams in this video. Uh, this door is red or maroon. The rest of the jams are silver. Uh, I won't be doing all four jams on this video. I'll just be doing these two to save time. Um, and I'm running out of light. As you can see, this house here is my only shade or block. Uh, during the middle of the day, I have the sun from east to west, covers this entire area, so it messes with the contrast of the camera. I do not have a shop or garage here in Texas yet. I'm still working on it. When we were in Kansas, I did have one. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I remove these doors and do the door jams, and I'll give you another option in case you don't want to remove the doors, but um, removing the doors is the best option for this. I'll even show you how to remove these trims and stuff like that. That way you can get all this that's gonna be in here needs to be painted too. But I'll show you how to take the door panels and all that stuff off. I'm gonna go ahead and get the tripod set up. If the light gets too dark, which it will, um, I have a 5,000 lumen shop light from Walmart that costs like $21. Pretty good investment there. Um, and it should light up more than plenty on this and I'll show you how to do it. So I will get the tripod and everything set up and we'll get started on this. One of the first things you're going to want to do is remove the three 10 millimeter bolts that hold the fender in right here. You'll remove the bumper, which is easy in my case because I have a quick release. There will be one 10 millimeter bolt here, two 10 millimeter bolts down here, and then this will slide off. As for this 10 millimeter bolt that is right here inside the fender, you have to have the door completely open to access it. Then you'll have access using an extension to get the 10 millimeter bolt out. As for the lower side skirt, there will be uh, Phillips head screws right here and along the bottom side there'll be plastic Phillips head screws. You'll remove that and after you get those removed you pull it forward and pull it out like this. And once you have the side skirt off you'll see the two 10 millimeter bolts right here. Remove those. After you remove these two 10 millimeter bolts we'll focus by the headlight. Right over here by the headlight there's a 10 millimeter bolt that holds it on. Remove that one as well. There's typically a 10 millimeter bolt right here as well, but this one's already missing. Now that we've removed those 10 millimeters, there'll be three right here. Remove those as well. Now with all the 10 millimeters removed, you can pull the fender off. Now with the fender off, you'll see we have access right here. These are 12 millimeter bolts. You'll want to remove all four of those 12 millimeter bolts. But before doing that, we need to open the door and disconnect the door stopper here's a 12 millimeter bolt you'll want to remove the bolt and then shut the door so that this compresses back in now we'll shift our focus to over here where the connector is you're going to want to remove this connector before taking the door off now that we've got it to this point you'll want to be careful when taking the door off but remove the 12 millimeter bolts that hold the door on. Make sure to hold the door as you're removing the bolts. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. You can tape this off or you can take it off. Um, I prefer taking it off. It is harder to get these out because there are Phillips heads here and they like to seize up over time. If you can't remove them, you can just tape it off very thoroughly and uh, it'll work. But it's frowned upon and people will probably be like, oh, look, you can tell he taped it off. So I'm gonna try to remove this, but if I can't, I'll be taping it off very thoroughly. As for back here, we do have 12 millimeter bolts that hold this back door on, but it has another door stopper on the inside. We have to remove that as well and disconnect this connector too. We can go ahead and remove these or tape these up. Either option does work. 
Uh, this here, I don't know how to take them out without breaking it, so I like to tape these up. If you're wondering right here, I did a better tape job than my first time around, so that blue is on the black. So I'm gonna just paint these later to match. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping all this. We will wipe the door jams down with acetone or wax and tar remover prior to sanding. That way, no grease or wax gets into the paint when we're sanding. As for removing the door strikers, I'm actually just using a Phillips head bit in a quarter inch socket on a ratchet. It doesn't always work, but if it doesn't work, they actually make a specialty tool that you put on there and then you hammer it and it loosens it at the same time. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those. Make sure not to lose these little clips. We'll need these later to reinstall the side skirt. So I got all the plastics off except for this black trim which will just be taped up. It will eventually be getting painted black. Um, so this all here will just be taped up. Now you can paint all the door jams without having to remove all that stuff, but you'd have to tape it all off and it's just not worth the hassle. It's a little easier to just take it off. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with some acetone on the silver areas. Uh, wipe it all down and then we'll start scuffing. Now as for the doors themselves, we'll get to that after the door jam is already painted. Alright, so I have some fresh cuts on my hands from working on the Honda. We call that Honda rash by the way. Uh, almost everyone who's ever worked on a Honda knows exactly what I'm talking about. So I've got a bunch of fresh cuts on my hand. Um, so I'm going to be wearing these uh, disposable gloves and I'll be using the acetone that I got from Walmart. Uh, just wiping everything down, and then we'll get started with the sanding. Alright, that's how I tape up the VIN. Now I can go ahead and get started with the sanding. All right, so I'm about ready to sand, but before I did, I wanted to give a shout out to Luis for sending this to my P.O. box, and Trick1 for sending sandpaper from Duragold. Um, lots of sandpaper, so this video is actually possible because of them, so I just really appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching this, definitely drop a comment below. Um, if anyone else is interested in sending some materials for me or fan mail, then uh, it'll be on screen and in the description below. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding. All right, it's all sanded now. Now I'm gonna be using these um, plastic drop cloths and tape and taping up each door. So just make sure to get it very thoroughly taped and then we can start. All right, now that I've got everything plasticed off and taped, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. Now, they do sell plastic with tape already on it. That's the better option than doing it the way I did it, but um, this method does work. It just takes a little bit longer to do it yourself. I've got the back plasticed up, the roof, the windshield. Um, I'm gonna keep overspray off the wheel, and I'm gonna pull this piece up whenever I go to paint. So basically, I'm just gonna coat everything fairly thick using uh, Magic's tractor, truck, and implement paint. This is very durable paint. It doesn't require a clear coat. Um, the outside of the car will be cleared, but the door jams, I don't think they will, just because this stuff is pretty shiny and it's not gonna see UV very much. 
Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I think one can should cover everything. So let's just get started spraying. Right, so here it is painted. The door jams are completely done on the driver's side. Now, I have to do the doors still, but uh, it only used half a can to do the entire driver's side door jam. Um, so, I should have enough to do the other side, and uh, then I have another can inside. So, I have two cans total right now. That should be enough to do all four doors plus both sides' door jams. Uh, it looks really good, though. No runs or issues. So, we'll let that dry while we uh, get started prepping the door. All right, so we have the driver front door here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to take the door panel off in just a moment. Uh, I'll also be showing you how to remove the seals because it makes a cleaner look whenever all the seals are removed. Then it's painted and seals are put back on. Um, we have the door hinges here, which I will be removing as well and sanding everything down all the way up in here and painting all of this so that it matches. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and show you right now how to remove the door panel. All right, as for removing the door panel, there's this piece right here on the 99 2000 Civics. This will pop right up like that. Then in here, you will find two Phillips head screws. You'll go ahead and remove them. After you get those screws removed, you'll go ahead and remove the Phillips head screw here. This will slide forward and then up so the rod goes in here in this particular spot so you'll have to push it away from the rod and then the rod pulls straight out all right so when it comes to the window crank i've already removed this to show you it has this little clip on the back side basically what you're going to want to do is slide this piece up like that do not lose these clips and whenever you go to put it on, you'll basically put it on with the threads and pop it and it'll go right back into place. But basically, you'll want to slide it like this in here, like that, which will pry these out. That's how you remove the crank window handle. All right, now to get this door panel out, you'll use flathead screwdriver and pry this up so to get this cover off. Then you'll remove the Phillips head screw holding in the speaker typically there's three now once you've gotten all of that out you'll pry it up from the bottom like this and slide it up like so now we'll only be prepping and painting about this far in because the door panel does cover the rest and i don't want to waste paint uh, you're not going to see all this with the door panel on so there's no point in painting it now if this was a professional job which clearly it's not um, this whole window would come out and everything would come out um, and then we would paint the entire thing and it saves money by not having to paint all the rest of that stuff with the uh, spray can So we'll just prep and clean up the areas that we see with the door panel on All right now there is another way to do this you can slide the seal one way Lift gently and then slide the seal the other way and it'll remove it without you having to remove the actual plastic bit um, That is another option. So that way you don't have to have pliers to do this you can just pull one way, lift up a little, pull the other. It comes right out. All right, now that we got the seal all the way off using that method, it is optional to take this one off as well, but I'm just gonna tape this one up. It's not as big of a deal. Um, unless you're really picky, super picky, uh, you don't have to take this one off. I'm just gonna sand all this and prep it and uh, tape this rubber seal here off as well. Since it's not tinted, I can wipe with some acetone and we'll be good to go. Go ahead and remove these brackets and uh, tape that up. And remove these bolts that hold the mirror in, move the mirror, and paint all this stuff up. All 
right now that I've got that taped up uh, and wiped down with acetone, I have these brackets I'm going to scuff with 320 and paint off of the door. And then the bolts themselves, it's really smart after this is prepped to put these back in and paint them. That way they match. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff this thing up with some 320 and then we'll get to painting. All right, got the door painted, um, got the hinges painted down there, the bolts are painted. Everywhere that you will see with the door panel and seals on is painted. Now, like I said, this isn't the 100% proper way to do it, but it works and it saves you some money. Um, let this dry, do the other door panel, and once both of them are dry, we'll put the door panels back on and uh, put them back on the car. All right, got the driver rear door um, painted and reassembled along with the driver front door. Um, this is one of the spots people are going to complain about is these screws. I couldn't get them to come out, but it's fine. Um, I'm just going to lube up inside of here to make sure that it doesn't get stuck because if that gets stuck, then there'll be problems opening the door. But I've never had that happen. Uh, I'm just saying that might be something to think about if you can remove that then it's probably best to both of these are drying up i am going to go out to the car and we can start putting the strikers back on so that once the doors are dry enough we can mount them back up on the car All right, we got the driver door done. I sprayed a little bit extra over the bolts so that it all matched. Now we just have to put the back door on. All right, now we're gonna put the side skirt on. And basically what we do with these clips is we just slide them in like this. Now that all the clips are in, we'll take it and line it up with the holes on the car. And then they just push in. Now after you've done that, you'll put the screws in that go right here and hold it into the fender. Don't forget to put the bolts in, but you have to have the door open. So here is the door jams. I let it dry all night before I put these rubber seals in, but it looks really good. It has a, it has a pretty good shine to it, and it's nice and dry to the touch. Everything's good there. It looks like it came factory this way, and that's kind of the uh, goal that I was going for, is to make it look like it came that way. Now, this method works really well, especially when you're spray can painting or doing it panel by panel, because not all of us have the luxury of a shop. Um, I had a shop, and I miss it. But, uh, yeah, overall, pretty good. Still got the uh, VIN tag down here. The uh, only thing that anyone's really going to complain about would probably be the latch itself, um, having these bolts... A different color but if you can remove the Phillips heads you can take them out clean them in some acetone put them back in and it'll look really good but this video has been highly requested so I figured I would get it done um, I didn't do the passenger side yet I will be doing that tonight when it cools off um, I just wanted to make this video so you guys knew how I do it now there's many different ways to do it you can keep the doors on pull the door panel off take the trim off paint it with it on the car 
um, just pull the fenders off and so you don't have to take the doors all the way off. But either way, the passenger side will be getting done tonight. So it will all be complete by the time this video um, gets uploaded. But I appreciate all the comments, likes, and uh, suggestions for my videos. Um, if you don't know why I don't have the gold matching wheel, the tire's blown out. I'm still waiting on a tire. So that'll be fixed soon though. But I didn't want to make this video this long. I'm sorry that it's so long, but uh, I wanted to be as thorough and detailed as possible. That way you guys could pretty much get everything you needed from the video. So I will have more videos coming out soon. I really appreciate everything you guys have done. Likes, comments, and shares. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're new here, definitely subscribe. But definitely stay tuned because I will have more content coming out soon. Uh, if you like the video, definitely smash the thumbs up button and uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and God bless.